Hey, what is going on guys? Boost the Whips here. Today we're gonna go ahead and be installing the ambient interior lighting by Redline Mods. So this is made out of fiber optic. You get about 26 feet, which should cover if you wanna go ahead and do a full four door sedan, the dashboard, and even maybe even the center console. Um, today we're gonna be doing it on the Honda Civic SI, which I have. Um, so they supply 26 feet of this. You have a pry tool here to kind of help you out. Um, it is uh, remote based, but you can also use an app which is included in the, this manual here. You can go ahead and download it. And then they also provide some uh, tape and also some end caps so you can close out the light so it's not exposed depending uh, how you're installing it. And they provide six diodes here for the fiber optic lighting. Unlike everyone else, they're probably surprised less. I believe other vendors out on Amazon and eBay provide uh, sh smaller fiber optic and less diodes inside the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. You also have here on the other side, you have your uh, 12 volt uh, power and then your module box here where all your connections are gonna go ahead and get connected. Uh, today, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the doors which is the most complicated or the most con uh, time consuming, I wanna say. So we'll go ahead and get started on that process. All right, the very first step you wanna go ahead and do is make sure you have power and test out all the diodes. So I went ahead and have the car in AC mode. We're gonna go ahead and hit the power. And what you wanna do is test every single one of these diodes. Um, this only goes one way. There's a groove here. And on the uh, connector side, there's an arrow. So that's the uh, way you're connected. This only goes one way. Make sure it's on there. And here's a diode. So you'll do that for all six. Make sure you connect them properly. Make sure they're all good. One of the things you wanna go ahead and also check and make sure that this barrel here is tight, um, just to make sure that the LED is not loose on there. So. Um, Redline Mods does, does a great job making sure that these are secure prior to shipping, but uh, just go ahead and make sure just in case. Uh, this part here is where the uh, you're going to unscrew. There are hand tights, so you can actually move it with your hand. The uh, fiber optic is going to go on this end, and then you tighten this part hand tight. Um, and I'll show you that process once we get there. But just make sure all of them light up, and then you can go ahead and get started. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the door. What I went with the Civic SI, we went ahead and loosened up the panels, which is right here with a pry tool, um, and just kind of unpried this whole section here so that I'm able to put the wire through the back of this panel, um, and then connect the uh, fiber optic at the end. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you that, but for each vehicle it's gonna be different. That's why it's a little bit uh, challenging depending on the vehicle that you do use. On the Civic SI, it's a little bit very easy because this panel just snaps off with um, some pressure clips uh, with a pry tool and you're able to route the cable and then out to the inside of the vehicle where the uh, connection module is. So um, I went ahead already and already uh, loosened this up so you guys can see. Um, it's all loose from the top area. This is where I'm gonna route the cable all the way back here. the camera there a little bit so here is also loose so this is where I'm gonna route the cable so the fiber optic is gonna come at the end of this and I'm gonna tuck it through here um, including the diode it's gonna stay on the back of this panel and uh, the cable is gonna be routed into the vehicle in this direction behind the panel and then into the uh, car so let's go ahead and get started all right guys what you want to do is go ahead and grab the fiber optic I'm gonna go to the end of the trim of this door handle here and just kind of tuck on there. You can kind of go ahead and, and tuck this more with the uh, pry tool, but right now I'm doing it with my hands and it's going nice and smooth. So you wanna go ahead and get that in between, like so, and finalize the tucking. I'm going all the way to the end of the door trim just because it makes installation 
10 times easier, in my opinion. And I'm gonna go at the edge of the door into this trim, like so. All right, so now what you're gonna do is go ahead and cut. I like to leave enough slack. You can leave as much as whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it like right here. And then what you're gonna go ahead and do is just cut like maybe half an inch of just the insert here. As you guys saw. Kinda do that L90 degree cut. And then you're gonna grab one of the diodes and I recommend using the long ones on this occasion. We're gonna go ahead and open this. You can do this with your hand and if you look inside, it's kind of like a plastic screw that's on there, like a clear plastic screw. So just open it so that the uh, hole is exposed. Go ahead and connect it. Make sure it's all the way in, like so. And you can go ahead and secure it. And you just do a hand tie just enough so until you feel it that it's nice and tight. Pull, just make sure that it's secure. And you can add tape on here if you like. As you saw, I kind of cut a little bit of two extra, so maybe less than half an inch. Should be more than enough. And then we're gonna drop this diode inside the uh, door panel and route the cable inside to the car. All right guys, so here's the installation fully complete. Um, I have it right now cycling on, um, on smooth. We have here uh, fade. So I'm pressing fade here. Um, and then you can also do strobe. If you just want white, just press the W. You have different colors here, so here's yellow, orange, red, green, blue. Got your like magenta type of color. So you can mess around with the different colors so you guys can see. And that's on both windows, right? So I'm using the remote, very responsive. Um, again, you can use the app as well. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other side as well. Um, it's a little bit hard because it's daytime here. So um, I went ahead and closed down the garage, but we also have the lights from the vehicle. So it's a little bit hard to see that door over there, but that's already done. Um, and then um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other door over there and then we'll finalize this video. Here you go guys, so here's the passenger side. And that's it guys. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Um, we do have 15% discount. You can use BSTD WPZ15, which is for 15% off at Redline Mods. And that goes for every uh, lighting that they have. They have underglow, ambient, um, dome lights. They have all kinds of stuff. So definitely check them out guys. If you have any questions, again, go ahead and drop them down below. Um, I'll probably go ahead and finish up what's the dashboard on another clip, but same concept guys. If you need any help, go ahead and reach out. Until next time, boost the whips. I'm out. Have a very pleasant day and God bless.